Hello Smarties, welcome back. Today we learn how to add using the double strategy. What's the double strategy? To get an, the double of a number, we add the same number to itself. For example, 2 plus 2, 4 plus 4, 5 plus 5. So, doubles means we add the same number to itself. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 4 plus 4 equals 8. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 5 fingers on each hand. 6 plus 6 equals 12. 7 plus 7 equals 14. 7 days in 1 week and 14 days in 2 weeks. 7 plus 7 equals 14. 8 plus 8 equals 16. 8 legs of 1 octopus. 9 plus 9 equals 18. And 10 plus 10 equals 20. You won't know these right now. That's fine. All you need to do is keep practicing and repeating them. And you will get really, really good at it. So why do we need to learn the doubles facts? Because that helps us to calculate faster. And we can add without having to think too hard. And when you know your doubles facts, you don't want to be stuck using your fingers to count. So keep practicing your doubles facts and you will be so good at addition. Let's practice adding using the double strategy. Remember, keep looking at the doubles chart and you will get superb at it. What's 5 plus 5? Five? 5 fingers on one hand, 5 fingers on the other. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 4 plus 4 equals 8. 9 plus 9, 18. 7 plus 7 equals 14. 6 plus 6, very good. 6 plus 6 equals 12. And 3 plus 3 equals 6. Let's do something a little challenging now. Let's add this using the double strategy. What we need to do is we need to double the smallest number. Here we have 4 plus 5. 4 is our smaller number. So 5, let's split it. We split our 5 to 4 plus 1. Now, what's 4 plus 4? 4 plus 4 is 8 and we have the leftover 1. So, four, double 4 is 8 plus 1 equals 9. Easy? Let's try some more. 3 plus 5. Which one is our smaller number? The 3. So, we'll split the 5 to 3 and 2. What is double 3? Double 3 is 6. 6 plus 2, 8. Isn't that easy? 3 plus 5 is 8. We split the 5 to a 3 and a 2. And then using the double strategy, we know that double 3 is 6. We have a 2 left over. Add them together. 6 plus 2 gives you 8. Next one, 7 plus 8. What will we split the 8 into? Correct, 7 and 1. 
Double seven is 14. 14 plus 1 gives you 15. 7 plus 8 is 15. Very good. Next one. 9 plus 8. Which one is the smaller number? The 8. So we will split the bigger number which is 9. We'll split it to 8 and 1. 8 plus 1 gives you 9. Now using the double strategy, what's 8 plus 8? 16. 16 plus 1? 17. Next one. 6 plus 4. 4 is the smaller number and 6 is the greater number. Let's split the number 6. We split it into 4 and 2. What's double 4? Double 4 is 8. 8 plus 2, 10. Now, using our double strategy to add, let's do some mental math. What I want you to do is to split the larger number in your mind. Let's do the first one. 6 plus 7. 6 is our smaller number, so we'll split the 7. Remember to always double your smaller number. So 6 plus 6 is 12. 7 is one more. So 12 plus 1, 13. 8 plus 8, that's easy. Double 8 is 16. 4 plus 6, our smaller number is 4. We always double our smaller number. So 4 plus 4 is 8 and 6 is 2 more than 4. So double 4, 8 plus 2 equals 10. Next one, 5 plus 4. Look at your smaller number, the 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8, 5 is 1 more, 8 plus 1 equals 9. 9 plus 7. Okay, are you a little stuck? Let's split it quickly. We'll split this 9 into 7 and 2. So what's double 7? 14. 14 plus 2 gives you 16. Let's do the next one mentally. 7 plus 8. 7 plus 7, double 7 is 14. 14 plus 1 gives you 15. I hope that was easy. Just keep practicing and you will get it. Try to do this by yourself and using the double strategy. The link for this will be in the description box below. Send me your answers on Instagram at Miss Kazi. I hope you had a great math lesson with me.